Hyundai's fuel cell trailer drone is the future of trucking, minus the trucks. Hyundai's autonomous e-bogey concept is a crazy zero-emissions robot that could transform the way we ship overland cargo, perhaps the most radical hydrogen-powered concepts to come out of the Hyundai Motor Group's Hydrogen Way Forum this week are this trailer drone concept and the modular fuel cell e-bogey concept that it sits upon. Together, these vehicles imagine that zero-emissions hydrogen fuel cells and autonomous driving tech will combine to change the way we think of trucking and logistics and it all starts with ditching most of the truck itself. The e-bogey takes its name and inspiration from bogies, the two axle subframes that a train car rides atop at either end. More shipping robot than truck, the e-bogey is essentially an autonomous electric chassis powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. The e-bogey can pull off impressive maneuvers like turning in place and diagonal crab walk driving thanks to its four-wheel independent steering. Its beefy, low-profile design allows it to carry a small shipping container or other load, things get interesting when multiple e-bogies work together in cluster mode. Place a pair of e-bogies on a full-size semi-trailer, one at each end, and you have what Hyundai calls a trailer drone an autonomous trailer that can pilot itself around shipping yards, on highways, and even in urban centers. Furion Elysium is not a production vehicle, but rather a concept RV unveiled by Furion in 2017 at the Consumer Electronics Show CS, to showcase their vision of a luxurious and technologically advanced RV. Imagine a home on wheels with top-of-the-line amenities and features that would make James Bond jealous, the Elysium is a 45-foot-long behemoth that is 8 feet wide and 13.5 feet tall. Large TVs, enjoy movies and entertainment on the multiple TVs throughout the RV, including two massive 75-inch 4K TVs on the exterior that convert into a rolling cinema. While it may not be able to navigate narrow roads or national parks, it offers the ultimate in glamping comfort. Here are some of the features that make the Furion Elysium stand out. Helipad, the most talked about feature is the retractable helipad on the roof, which allows you to land your helicopter and take off directly from your RV. Hot tub, relax after a long day of driving in the spacious hot tub on the back deck. Smart home technology, the Elysium is equipped with smart home technology that allows you to control everything from the lighting to the temperature with a touch of a button or through voice commands. Mercedes-Benz Future Truck 2025 was a concept truck unveiled in 2014 by Daimler Trucks. It was not intended to be a production model, but rather a glimpse into the future of commercial trucking. The truck was packed with innovative technologies designed to improve efficiency, safety, and driver comfort. One of the most notable features of the Future Truck 2025 was its autonomous driving capability. The truck was equipped with a system called Highway Pilot that allowed it to drive itself on highways. Highway Pilot used a combination of radar sensors and cameras to detect its surroundings and navigate traffic. The Future Truck 2025 was also designed to be more aerodynamic than traditional trucks. This helped to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. The truck also featured a number of other fuel-saving technologies, such as a stop-start system and a more efficient engine. The Mercedes-Benz Future Truck 2025 never went into production, but it served as a valuable testbed for new technologies that are now being incorporated into commercial trucks today. Hyundai HTC6 Neptune is a sweet retro-futuristic fuel cell semi-truck heavy-duty concept previews future use of hydrogen powertrain. Hyundai has revealed a sweet-looking heavy-duty Class 8 commercial truck concept called the HTC6 Neptune. Inspired by the streamliner railway trains that were all the rage in the 1930s and 1940s, the Hyundai HTC6 Neptune concept looks futuristic and retro at the same time, clearly channeling the Art Deco lines of the 1936 Mercury while also featuring a hydrogen fuel cell powertrain. Hyundai debuted the HTC6 Neptune concept at the 2019 North American Commercial Vehicle Show to introduce its commercial vehicles to the US market and gauge the possibility of entering that market. The fuel cell powertrain gave us the opportunity to redefine the classical typology and architecture of the truck, said Hyundai Motor Group Chief Design Officer Luke Donkerwoke in a release. Because of increased cooling requirements, the grille spans the whole lower portion of the truck, which helps airflow while giving the truck its distinctive look. Volvo Concept Truck tests a hybrid vehicle for long haul. 
With the Volvo concept truck Volvo Trucks has developed its first hybrid vehicle designed for long-haul applications. In combination with the vehicle's other improvements, the total reduction in fuel consumption in CO2 was around 30% Volvo Trucks first unveiled the Volvo concept truck in May 2016, and has now developed and enhanced the vehicle even further. In addition to the improvements in aerodynamics, rolling resistance, and reduced weight, the new version also features a hybrid powertrain, one of the first of its kind for heavy-duty trucks in long-haul applications. We strive to be at the forefront of electromobility and to constantly push the limits when it comes to reducing fuel consumption and emissions, says Claes Nielsen, CEO at Volvo Trucks. Over the coming years, as society moves more and more towards renewable energy, we strongly believe that electromobility and hybrid technology will become increasingly important. The powertrain in our concept truck has been developed to improve transport efficiency and thereby help the industry towards sustainable transport. With the concept truck we will gain valuable knowledge and experience, which will help us develop the technology further. Walmart Advanced Vehicle Experience, WAVE, was a concept truck designed by Walmart in collaboration with Peterbilt and Great Dane Trailers. It was unveiled in 2014 and never went into production, but it served as a testbed for new technologies that could improve the efficiency and sustainability of freight transportation. The WAVE truck was a tractor-trailer combination that featured a number of innovative design features, including Leading-edge aerodynamics, the truck's shape was designed to reduce drag and improve fuel efficiency. The cab was positioned in the center of the chassis, which allowed for a more tapered nose cone. The trailer was also made from lightweight carbon fiber, which helped to reduce weight. Advanced turbine-powered range-extending series hybrid powertrain, the truck was powered by a hybrid system that combined a diesel engine with a microturbine. The diesel engine powered the truck during normal operation, while the microturbine could be used to generate electricity to recharge the batteries or provide additional power when needed. Willie Bus is a futuristic concept designed by Tad Orlowski that completely reimagines the traditional bus. Instead of conventional walls, the Willy Bus features large transparent LCD screens as its side elevations one. These screens can display a variety of information, including paid advertising, bus schedules, and even TV coverage. Imagine a bus where the exterior is essentially a giant digital billboard. Here are some key points about the Willy Bus. Transparent LCD screens. The most striking feature of the Willy Bus is its use of transparent LCD screens. These screens replace the usual metal or glass walls, creating a visually captivating effect. Passengers inside the bus can still see out through the transparent screens, but those outside see dynamic content displayed on the bus's sides. Iveco Z Truck, the future of long-haul freight, unveiled at IA Iveco has unveiled its Z Truck, a long-haul concept vehicle, at the IAA show in Hanover, 22-29 September. The Iveco Z truck is billed as a totally sustainable transport system and anticipates the way alternative power, new technologies and automated driving will change the role of the driver. The vehicle has 29 patents and is shaped by enhanced aerodynamics, improved safety and the aim of creating a new living cab space. It is based on a heavy truck running on bio-LNG, liquefied natural gas, with conformable tanks, enhanced aerodynamics and a waste heat recovery system, to deliver long-haul transport with autonomy of 2,200 km and virtually zero CO2 emissions, when the vehicle is parked, the driver can reconfigure the interior of the cab to fully exploit the living and sharing aspect. A rear wall slides back automatically, adding 500 mm interior length and increasing the living space. This makes it possible to use all the features and amenities the driver may need, such as a foldable bed, shower, kitchen, fridge, sink and entertainment wall. Mercedes-Benz Future Bus What urban public transport will look like in the future is shown by the semi-automated city bus with city pilot. it operates even more safely, efficiently, and comfortably than conventional buses The technology of the city pilot in the Mercedes-Benz Future Bus is based on that of the autonomously driving Mercedes-Benz Actros truck with Highway Pilot presented two years ago. It has however undergone substantial further development specifically for use in a city bus, with numerous added functions. 
The city pilot is able to recognize traffic lights, communicate with them and safely negotiate junctions controlled by them. It can also recognize obstacles, especially pedestrians on the road, and brake autonomously. It approaches bus stops automatically, where it opens and closes its doors. And not least, it is able to drive through tunnels. Just under a dozen cameras scan the road and surroundings, while long and short-range radar systems constantly monitor the route ahead. There is also a GPS system. Thanks to data fusion, all the data received create an extremely precise picture and allow the bus to be positioned to within centimeters. Volvo Truck Super Truck 2 exceeds freight efficiency goals with focus on aerodynamics and advanced engineering. Volvo Trucks North America has unveiled the company's Super Truck 2, with the debut on the company's YouTube channel. The Super Truck 2 program, a public-private partnership with the U.S. Department of Energy DOE, tasked OEMs with achieving a 100% freight efficiency improvement over their submitted 2009 baseline. Despite the daunting supply chain challenges facing the advanced engineering team throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, Volvo Trucks not only achieved the DOE objective but exceeded expectations, achieving 134% increase in freight efficiency. Volvo Trucks Super Truck 2 will make its first public appearance in the Volvo Trucks booth, number 4097, at the American Trucking Association's 2023 Management Conference and Exhibition, taking place October 14th to 17th in Austin, Texas, offering a glimpse at styling and engineering cues for future generations of trucks. Transit Elevated Bus TB, also sometimes called a straddle bus or land air bus, is a proposed public transportation concept designed to alleviate traffic congestion in cities. The TEB is a large bus that rides on rails above traffic, with its passenger compartment elevated above existing roads. This allows cars to pass underneath the bus, potentially reducing traffic congestion, large passenger capacity. The TEB is designed to carry a large number of passengers, with some proposals suggesting capacities of up to 1,200 people. This could help to reduce traffic congestion by taking cars off the road. Reduce traffic congestion by allowing cars to pass underneath the bus, the TEB could help to reduce traffic congestion on busy roads. Lower construction costs, compared to subways, the TEB is supposed to be cheaper to construct, as it does not require extensive underground tunneling environmentally friendly, the TEB can be powered by electricity, including solar panels on the roof of the bus, which could help to reduce emissions. Thank you.